Welcome back, everybody, to Rust. Okay, so I think in this episode, I'm going to just show you guys what I usually do from day to day, even though the sun's going to set soon. But we still got time. So, let's go at it. I don't think anything's going to be... Oh, wow, they spawned already. Um, I made some more arrows. So, I have... I have 25 arrows. That should be enough to... Yeah, that's enough to deal with these guys. But I really need some wood, and I really need some metal ore. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get that stuff. Oh, come on, that hit him. Oof, that was close. Hey, five, and a flare. Cool. What do these do? They just light your way? Yeah, I think they just light your way. Okay, some more spawning now. That's good, though. It's good to kill these little douchebags. Show them who's the master. Right in the mouth. Right in your face. Oh, you... Yeah. Eat it. More freaking food. I don't know. I don't know anymore. You guys. I'm just... If any of you guys can find my server and just want some food, feel free to come by. Because I got food for ages. Oh, oh no. And what, I, what was cool about this part that I found, if I'm close to this area right here, I can come up here, jump up here, Jump right up here. Jump, jump, jump. And they can't get me. So. That's nifty. Oh, eat it. And sometimes I can't get their their little their little uh, pouches that they carry with them. Full of stuff I can't get sometimes. But I would rather not die than have their pouches and die. So, But I guess if I killed them I wouldn't be dying, would I? Let's go ahead and collect a few of these resources around here. I need to get some of this stuff. I really need to get some of this stuff. I need to be able to create more arrows so I can go kill uh, animals and whatnot. But I got this pickaxe. I have like 50 million of these things from killing all these animals. But I gotta be vigilant because they're spawning and I don't want to die. But this pickaxe really helps speed up the process. I mean like really fast. And there are a ton of stones out here. Because it never hurts to have all this stuff, you know. This is a nice resource valley. I really would like to make a giant mansion type building. I don't know where to make it yet. I was thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe not exactly right here, but maybe like right back there, down here. Somewhere not too obviously in your face on this server. But uh, keep my regular building where it is, but just start working on this giant mansion because I've been, I really just want a, a giant place that people just can't get into. I think that would be pretty cool. But I guess then again it just draws people towards you as well than having a little small shack. But then it also just makes your small shack easier to get into if it's a small shack. So, I don't know. Clearing through these. Oh, there's another wood. Clearing through all these resources like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Love these pick pickaxes. Alright. Did I clear through all the resources in the valley? In the valley. I guess so. We're gonna go up here real quick. Maybe kill some more rad animals. Gather some more resources. You know, the works. Yep, there's some wood, and I really need wood. So if any of you guys have played the experimental rust, I have not tried it yet. Uh, let me know how it is. Um, let me know what it's about. Give me all the info on it. Maybe tell me if you want me to try it out. You know, whatever's. I haven't tried it yet. I don't. I haven't bothered figuring out what it's about yet. I know it's an experimental rust. <laughs> nah, nah, go figure. But still, I haven't uh, dove too much into it to really figure out what it's about, what they changed, and all that. 
I think, uh, I think you get 10 wood from each hit on each tree, maybe? Give you, uh, fast, uh, wood faster, something like that. Time to annihilate this bear. Oh my gosh. Uh, I can't believe I missed. Right in the face. Right in the face! Oh my gosh, my aim! It's just faulty, you guys. It's faulty right now. Faulty aim, faulty aim! Right in the mouth. If there's food in this! Okay, okay, I can deal with that. I don't know, do these small stashes have anything in them? No, are they just small stashes? I don't need you in my life. Alright, we'll kill this last red bear over here. Bam. Smacked him. Nice. Smacked him again. Wait for him to get a little bit closer. Bam. Got him. Okay. We'll harvest your, your satchel. Another pickaxe. You know, I don't need it. I don't need it. I have like five of them. We'll harvest this rock. The, oh. the rads never get heavy out here. I mean, like, my rads are reached like 200 some odd when I come out here, but they never really peak any farther than 300, which is nice. And it's nice that this field doesn't get any radiation either. I know it's not best to record at night. It, in this game, it is so, so hard to see. So, my objective is, now, if I'm recording at night, like I am now, um, I'm going, my, my plan is during the day, I'm going to try and just get tons of resources, just all that kind of mess many races as I can, resources as I can, hunt as much as I can, do everything like that. And then when it starts reaching nighttime, I'm going to come back to base and um, start crafting and just do all this crafting. And uh, if you guys don't like that, then I, I guess just let me know. But I, I, I don't like, just want to cut, you know, the episode. I guess I could, but I guess I'm just being a lazy, a lazy turd. Okay, I don't have anything to cut in the fire. Let's open you up. See what we can do here. So we got tons of wood. Let's split that. Uh, we don't really have that much of anything else. Pop 36 wood in there. Keep that. I'll take this. I'll take this. And this. Pop that metal ore. That sulfur ore. Good to go. So we got some light now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I know there's some sulfur in here. We'll pop this sulfur up there. Actually, what we'll do is we'll trade. We'll trade sulfur. All right, I don't want to wear that out here. Uh, put my shotgun shells back up. Racking up on some shoddy, some shoddy shells. Put my granola bars up. My infinite supply of granola bars. You guys see that? 22 granola bars. Honestly. I can make a ton of gunpowder with this. Oh yeah, and... <laughs> 20, 22 granola... I have 91, 5, 5, 6 just from hunting. Put all those right there. Ah, I didn't get rid of the rock. Dang. I'm pretty, that's probably bothering you guys. You're just like, get rid of the rock. Okay, I'm gonna make... So, and I just realized, I don't know, I was playing this game, I didn't know this. I I noticed that workbenches, the stuff that requires workbenches, makes it go faster. But I, I feel dumb, but I never thought, for some reason, that um, having a workbench uh, right down here, while you're crafting regular things, made a difference. But I know now. So whenever I craft these large amounts of things, like arrows, let's let's craft some arrows real quick. Let's craft five. It's originally 50 seconds. It just shot it down to 16, 15 seconds. And I didn't know that, but I saw somebody on the chat say it, and I was like, oh, 
you know, I feel dumb. But now I know, so I'm not so dumb anymore. Move that right there. Ah, well, too late. All right. So what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I can craft some shaddy shells. No, no. I'll craft some gunpowder. Yes, I was going to do gunpowder with this. Just as much gunpowder as I can craft. Shoot that up there to 660. Only in five seconds. Nice. Boom. 60 gunpowder. I should have some in here. Yes, I have a little bit. Alright, so what do we do with the gunpowder? How do we make uh, small medkits? That should be on here somewhere. Small medkits, small medkits. There it is. I need cloth and blood. And don't you have to have um, a blood kit? Blood draw kit. I don't exactly know how to use this. Uh, do you just put it in your inventor inventory? Oh, you do. And you draw your blood. Huh. How many times can you do it? Good amount of time. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that, yes. I'm learning. I'm learning. Be patient with me. I'm learning. Okay. Um. Some ammo. I want shotgun shells. And uh, I'd rather have 9mm right now. I have plenty of gunpowder. I need these metal fragments. Come on, jump up here. There you go. Okay. Nine millimeter. How much does one? Does it give you one bullet? Let's see. It gives you one bullet. Okay, well. We'll shoot it up here. To ten bullets. Okay, I think that's a good amount of ammo. I'm out of gunpowder. Or, I don't have enough gunpowder. But I can make more gunpowder. Got some sulfur in here. I already have 22 bullets in there. Tons of sulfur. For gunpowder. Get on this crafting bench tool. And make some gunpowder. Shoot that up to 60. Get it done real quick. Man, I'm so glad I found this out. It's, ugh. I wish I'd known this sooner, though. Wish I'd known this way sooner. Or right, there's gunpowder. Okay, we'll make some shotgun shells. Shot to go in the shell. Wait, 20. I can't make 20. We'll make 19, okay? That only takes 6 seconds. Wow. That's cool. 19. We'll put them in here, though, because I, I don't have a shotgun yet. But I'm going to make a shotgun. But uh, I probably should have done that before. But I got 43 of those bullets now. Doing good. Doing good. We'll move the sulfur back. Move the metal fragments back. Alrighty. What's we got boiling in here? More metal fragments. Some more sulfur and all that good stuff. It's like a little cycle. Just everything spins back to itself. Okay. So. Small med kits. I can make some now. You need two blood for one. Let's craft one. Oh, I got the workbench on me. Okay. Small med kit. Crafting it. Three seconds. Boom. Got another small med kit. Nice. Blood draw kit. I don't want it on me. I don't want to lose that. But I have two small med kits now, so that's good. I'm fine with that. This is running out, of, running out of space here. Oh, I have gunpowder in here. Don't think about that. Did not think about that. Did I? Yeah, I have one, two pickaxes in here, and I already have one in my inventory, so I don't need any more pickaxes. Don't know why I have that many to begin with, but, you know, whatever. If I die, that's what, that's why I gotta have multiples. I can make them, I can craft pickaxes, but, you know. Okay. So. Shotgun. Where are we at? Oh, I can also make a grenade. Oh man, just imagine throwing grenades at people. But you gotta have a lot of stuff for one grenade. Shotgun! 12 low quality metal. So, I think I need 180 metal fragmentos. There's 121. 
and there's 160. So we're about to make a low quality middle. I need 12. 12. Only eight seconds. Better make shotgun, you guys. Bam. Shotgun, 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 shotgun. Right there. Boom. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Okay, well, while this is going, you guys, that's all the time I have for this episode. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, destroy that like button. Like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I always appreciate that. Um, if you want to see more of the Rust or any of the videos you guys can recommend, please click subscribe. That means a whole, whole lot to me. Um, I, I just greatly appreciate anything, uh, all the things you guys did, all the feedback I've been getting. It means a lot. Um, thank you guys so much, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs>